Hey all this is just a um, quick little video of my current setup that I've got going on. I figured somebody might be interested in this as much as I am so um, just tell you a bit about what I got going on at the moment as far as uh, audio components. So I've had this for quite a long time. I actually had it since my 30th birthday. Uh, my friends actually pitched in and all uh, bought it for me. This is an uh, Rega RP1 uh, turntable uh, and uh, it's just been beautiful, worked awesome for me, sounds really nice uh, when I do play records. So um, what can I say about that? It's just ex extremely uh, simple. You can see right under there, it's a belt driven unit. Um, if you remove the platter, you can simply just change the belt position from one because uh, there's a different diameter uh, pulley on the shaft here. And you put the belt around the different ones to get the two different record sizes. Uh, stock cartridge, I still have not changed that. So something to experiment with. Uh, I also am just using the built-in uh, phono amp in my amplifier. So... I'd like to try a standalone uh, phono amp and just experiment with different sounds there. Um, next one, heart of the system right now. Uh, this is a Denon PMA915R integrated amplifier. This is a Class A amplifier. Uh, nothing you don't need. Very simple. It's got this beautiful solid aluminum finish to it. Um, and your basic controls, your bass, treble, balance. Uh, it has a direct mode so you can run, uh, bypass the uh, any of this uh, noise modifying circuitry and just go straight from the input through the amplifier. Um, this push button for the different modes. And one feature that I always really like to see in an amplifier is that it is remote controlled. So motorized knob you can see there. That way I can be lazy and sit back and adjust. <laughs> Other than that, I like all just uh, nice push button controls. So excellent sounding amplifier. Uh, you know, it's 80 watts per channel, uh, minimum RMS. Uh, I think the total harmonic distortion on this one is 0 0.08. Uh, I think it might actually be better than that. I, I can't remember at the moment. Um, so the next thing you have to kind of go around back this is what i do my streaming with but uh this is a chromecast audio which unfortunately you can't buy anymore uh chromecast audio allows you to cast your music um in my case i'm using title and uh youtube music and uh i can cast my music to here uh over wi-fi so full uh master uh master quality audio or I'm only subscribed to the hi-fi service with Tidal because that's really all I think I need as far as sound quality. It's excellent, excellent. So you come out of here, optical, optical digital output. So not using the built-in DAC. This is a kind of a more recent thing, but instead now I've got this uh, standalone DAC, uh, which is a very high quality DAC. It's I mean, they can get certainly way, way, way more expensive, but I mean, this is, this is a really nice sounding, uh, digital to audio, uh, digital to analog converter for those of you that aren't aware, um, all devices like, uh, like a CD player, you know, would have a DAC built into it, the Chromecast audio, anything that's taking digital audio and converting it to analog, but they can do it quick and dirty with, with a chip and a few components, or you can kind of, um, you know, they put more thought into it, the way that they lay the circuitry out, the components they choose, uh, just changes the sound of it quite a bit. And it, it'll vary from DAC to DAC. So, so it's a cool thing to experiment with. Uh, the next thing I have is, uh, this Cambridge Audio Azure, uh, 540C. This is my CD player, and this is a hardcore, <laughs> just CD player. It won't read, uh, um, like uh re uh, not rewritable but it won't it won't read burnt discs uh it won't read mp3 it won't play mp3s it won't do any of that jazz it just is what it is uh this also comes with 
a nice solid metal heavy <laughs> remote so let's take a look at this quick like so that's that guy again nice aluminum face this has a beautiful inside i can't show you right now because i can't take the cover off uh it's got a bunch of these little allen head key um uh screws here but uh <clears throat> But uh, it's it's a very nice sounding CD player, very well laid out inside, nice big toroidal transformer, beautiful boards in the way that they routed the cables and stuff. And I don't think it's, you know, I don't listen to a ton of CDs. I don't have a lot of CDs, but when I do listen to CDs, it's nice having something, you know, really nice like this. And it's just, I think it's, it's beautiful. It's a nice piece of engineering. So, so it's just another cool thing to have. Um, the main speakers that I use are my Klipsch. Uh, these are Klipsch Synergy RF3s. R is it RP3 or RF3? Now I need to double check. So this is Synergy F3. Sorry. So, so, so Synergy F3. Uh, dual 8-inch woofers on them. These are quite large. Just looking at where I stand, I mean... I don't know, I don't have a measurement for that, but certainly over four feet, so. Uh, so this uh, Klipsch calls the Tractix horn uh, with a dome tweeter in there, uh, aluminum dome tweeter, I think it is, um, and front porting. So, uh, so it sends those low frequencies uh, straight at the listener. Here's the other one on the other side. These are quite heavy too. And, uh, anyway, um, I may upgrade them. That's like kind of the next thing I'm, I'm looking at. It's not that I'm not happy with their sound because they are just amazing. The, the imaging, uh, sitting right in the middle, you can hear everything come from everywhere in a 3d space. You know, this instrument's over here and, and it's over here and everything like that. But the one, the one thing I will say about the clips though, when comparing it with other speakers is the tweeter is, it's kind of harsh and it's almost a bit fatiguing, you know, like if you listen for extended periods of time where I've uh, tried out other speakers, um, I didn't find that to be the case, but um, these kind of outperformed in imaging and the the lower frequencies. So that's, that's why I've kind of held on to these. And of course, they're extremely clear, like those tweeters. I mean, you, you hear everything. So... Um, but yeah, um, that's what I've got to say about uh, this system, at least now. I just keep playing and trying out new things. So uh, I'll try to keep you updated any more that I can. And uh, thanks for watching.